My name is Amanda and I'm a student at the University of West Florida working on my history degree. I have always been interested in history. I've always been interested about learning about the past and I think it's really important to study history because it teaches us a lot about who we are today as people and as a society. Personally, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do in history just yet, but there are lots of career opportunities available for everyone. Um, a lot of students will go on and they'll work on master's degrees programs. Some will go to business or law school. Many will do positions involved in even marketing, um, administration. There are positions within the military. We have one of our faculty members who's even worked at NASA. So that really the sky is the limit on what you want to do with your history degree. The courses and learning experience within your history degree will vary based on your area of interest. A lot of classes will be in a typical education setting that revolves around a lecture. However, you will have lots of opportunities to present your material and learn in different ways. You'll probably watch a lot of videos. Uh, group presentations will be required, also class projects. Some teachers will have you go on day trips, field experience. A lot of history majors will also travel, travel overseas and do exchange programs and work out in the community doing their practicums. One of the great things about choosing history as your major is that you can really customize your courses to meet your interest or a specific subject area that you would like to learn more about. For example, right now I'm taking a American legal and constitutional history class that focuses on the development of early American government and the Republic. I'm also taking American military history, which covers all of the military engagements since early American history. You can also focus your area on European classes. You can also pick a particular geographical region or cultural or political movement that you're interested in and take your classes in that area. My favorite thing about my history major is all of the really great stuff that I get to learn. When you're in high school, a lot of your history classes will, focuses on, will focus on dates, places, memorization of names. But it's not like that at all in upper division history. You get into the real nitty gritty story of the past and the events will come to life before you and you will learn about historical situations in the context of the time period in which they happen, which will give you a completely new perspective on it. Um, other students will also really enjoy the amount of reading that's involved. They find that sometimes that's the best way for them to learn content. And there is a lot of reading involved in history classes. So that really appeals to people who like to read and also to write. Some people really enjoy the amount of writing that's involved because it gives them an opportunity to express themselves in a way that other majors don't let them. You also get very good at Trivial Pursuit very quickly. As much as I love studying history, it can be very challenging at times. The workload in compared to other areas can be pretty intense. A lot of students will struggle, especially with time management, which is critical to success in studying history. You need to really stay on top of your assignments. You need to keep up with the lectures and the reading. Start studying for your midterms the first week of class. Otherwise, by the time your midterm rolls around, it can be really overwhelming for a lot of people. Some people will also struggle with how much writing is involved. Um, it's a very it's a very professional level of writing that you're required to turn in at the end of the semester in your research paper. So a lot of students find that they have a hard time getting their head around the content and then writing it in a way that is articulate and professional. My advice for students who are interested in majoring in history would be to come and meet your faculty at the school that you're considering if you can. Email your professors, get in touch with them, find out what some of their requirements are in advance so that you're prepared when you come to school in the following semester. Also, if I had one piece of advice that I wish I had received in advance of my degree, it would be to find the course descriptions early and find out what reading your professor will assign in advance. That way, before you come that semester, you can start ahead on your reading, get on top of all of your material, and get an idea of what you'll be learning about in your class, and it will really give you an advantage over the rest of your